Hey guys, this is Amit. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to um, do a free SSL certificate um, an easy way and to automate the process to renew uh, the certificate. So um, there's a project um, called, uh, let me resize the browser tab here. Um, let me make it so it's just fits inside the screen. All right, okay. So there's this website called Let's Encrypt. So it's a free automated and open certificate authority. I may have created a video previously um, on a manual way of um, creating the free SSL certificate. This one's more like an automated way. There's a tool called CertBoot auto and that's like the python to python script that automates the uh, uh, requesting the certificate generating the certificate it can even write the configuration for you and then it'll also automate the process of renewing the certificate so um cert boat uh so cert board, you can go to the website here, the cert board website and you can actually just select whatever you are using here um, the operating system, and then it actually has all the documentation if you want to go that route. If not, then I can just show you here. I have this website. Um, I have the CentOS 6.7 version. So for 7, they actually have this package in the EPL repo. Um, you know, uh, but uh, for the six, I don't think they have a package for six. So we'll just go ahead and go to the USR local SRC directory. And then we're gonna say um, wget https dl.eff.org slash cert mode that auto. So download that script. Now, um, all right, let's see, short boat auto. Looking for it, looking for it. Um, all right, yeah, we'll just make it executable. If you don't, A plus X, cert boot auto, just so you can run it like this, cert boot auto. And then you can say um, either if you are using Nginx, you can do this, or if you are using Apache, you can actually just, you know, pass dash dash Apache, and then it'll actually generate the certificate and then write the configuration for you. So for now, what we're going to do is just, we're just going to do the generate the certificate only. So it'll actually go through the process. It'll go process the dependencies and everything. If there's any packages that needs to be installed in order to satisfy the dependencies for this sort of auto um, script, it'll do that. So wow. looks like I have a lot of packages. All right, that's not too bad. 22 packages. So let's go ahead and install those. All right, so we'll do that. You might actually want to install the EPL repo, anyways. Um, looks like it's using that for now. Uh, so we'll get that done. A second here. All right, almost there. Cleaning up. Okay, so the dependencies have been satisfied. It's now upgrading the short boat. Uh, if there's anything. Uh, okay, so we had 0 0.18.0. So it's upgrading that to 0 0.18.1. It's creating the virtual environment for the Python, so probably installing PEEP. So it can use its own version of Python, whatever version it needs. I should be done in a moment. All right. So now actually the um, certificate requires, so it's gonna gender the CSR and then it's gonna, you know, gender the cert file, signed certificate. So now 
Here, what it is asking for is enter email address used for urgent renewal and security notices. So you got to specify your email address. So for now, I'm going Amit at AmitNambal.com. So it's going to, you know, say it's going to ask you to agree to the terms. All right. Uh, would you be willing to share your email address to the Lux Front Foundation? It's optional. I'm doing no for now. So now once you... Um, once you agree to the terms, then it's going to list you all the domains that you have hosted on your server. And it's going to ask you which server do you want to generate the certificate for, right? So if you just press, um, if you just leave the input to blank and just press enter, it's going to generate a single certificate for all the websites that you have, right? So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to generate the certificate for my website, which is amitnepal.com. So what I can do is I can just do one and then I can say either two, one comma two or I can just say one space two. It's up to you, both are right. So if I go do that, it's generating the challenge and for both the, you know, I want to do it for both. I, I ran into issue just doing the www. I mean, the com. So you want to do it for both uh, with the www and without the www. So now, um, give me a sec here. Yeah. So now this is the. Uh, all right, here. So now, here, if you look at this part here. Right. So this is the important part. Here it says important notes. So, you know, it just says that congratulations and all that. And then your account credentials have been at Etsy Let's Encrypt. This is the most important directory. You should make a secure backup of this folder. Like it says here, the this configuration directory will also contain the certificates and the private keys obtained by cert boot. So making regular backups of this folder is idle. So it's gonna, you know, automatically renew your certificates and all that stuff. So here this is the um certificate your certificate and this is your private key okay so let's copy those two uh, paths here um, all right I'm just gonna open up a notepad here and save that as the certificate and this is the private key so now what I can do is uh, give me a second. I'm going to open up my config file for the website. Okay, so now I'm going to open up the config file for my website. So let's say, for example, this is the config file for my domain. So I only have it for um, port 80, which is the HTTP version, right? So we want to create a configuration. Um, so, you know, with the certificate information in order to make it HTTPS. All right, so we want to do the SSL configuration. Um, let's see, HTTPD, conf, .d, SSL .conf. So here you can either use it for the default host if you just have one, or you can just entirely create a new. Um, so I'll just create a um, I'll create the configuration in a different directory in a second here. So I'm just going to say it as ssl.conf and then uh, we're going to say virtual host star colon 443 ssl engine. We want to turn that on ssl cipher suite. Uh, I'm just going to give you an example here. Um, I'll just give you an example. Um, you might want to check and remove all the insecure, um, insecure, um, insecure um, um, cipher suites, and then um, want to do that. I can I can create another video on the um, 
on the insecure ciphers and what ciphers to use and whatnot. But for this, for this example, I'm just taking, um, I'm just taking an example. Um, let me do the document root. We want to copy that. Uh, we want to copy the document root. All right. So I'm going to put the document root over there. And we're going to say, um, I'm not going to put all the details. All right. So we're going to say server name. It's going to be www.amitnepal.com. And the server alias is going to be um, amitnepal.com. So now the most important part is to specify the certificate and the chain file, right? So the SSL certificate certificate file is the path that we copied over from here. That's the certificate file. And then we want to specify the SSL certificate key file. So that's going to be the path that we copied over here. Oops, looks like, okay, I'm all right, I'm fine. So, okay, that's the configuration, a bare minimum, right? So that's the bare minimum configuration. You wanna make sure you are not, um, you know, enabling the SSL v2 and SSL v3. This is just for an example. Um, and so I'm not taking those things into consideration. Um, so the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to uh, create the certificate for free, use it, and then make a renewal a job to automatically renew the certificate when it expires. Because these SSL certificates, they expire every three months. All right, let's make sure that the, um, okay, uh, looks like I have a typo in there. Uh, so SSL, all right, I see it. I missed, a, missed an I, so we should be good now. Oops, uh, okay, <laughs> for some reason, I just seem to be messing up with the I in here. All right, so we should be good now. Okay, um, virtual host default, overlap, all right. Okay, the first has precedence. Okay, oh, we need to enable name-based hosting. Um, Etsy, HTTPD, D SSL, com we want to say uh, we're gonna say um, let's search for that name virtual okay no, it doesn't have that so we'll say name virtual host star colon 443 so we're just enabling the name based hosting is all so yeah that error message went away so what this was saying here is you're doing the hosting based on IP address. And so the first virtual host is going to overlap on 443. And so you would be only able to host one website. So when we did the name virtual host, um, then we are now enabling the name based um, web hosting. So now that's that. So the configuration is good. Now the other thing that we need to do is we have to go back to the um, let's just open up my website here, uh, http www.nepal.com. It's just a blog. Um, I need to work on that. Yes, I know. Okay, so um, so what we want to do is whenever users type http www.nepal.com, we want to make them redirect automatically into the HTTPS website so they don't have to um, do the HTTPS. So for that, we are going to utilize the Apache um, uh, rewrite module. So what we can do is we got to go back to the uh, non-SSL configuration um, of this website. Right. Um, okay. Let me just create a quick backup uh, just in case. Uh, so I'm going to say that, and then I'm going to do um, dot con dot orig. All right. So now I can go ahead and um, what I can do. What I can do is in here I can just say da da da. da. Okay, I'm going to do the rewrite engine on, and then we're going to say rewrite con, 
as the rewrite condition HTTPS off. If the HTTPS is off, then we want to redirect rewrite rule dot star um, and then HTTPS colon percent um, server underscore name slash dollar one and then um, redirect last. All right, so here we are just enabling the rewrite engine, rewrite condition. So we are doing a conditional rewrite. So if the HTTPS is off, these are the server variables. So if the um, HTTPS is off, then what we are doing, we are taking everything, we are putting HTTPS and then the server name variable, which is the domain that we were trying to reach, and then slash dollar one is anything that was, you know, any slash or the slash blog or whatever the request was after the URL. And then the R and the L flag means, R means redirect, and the L means last, so there are no further rules down there. So, all right, let's do a service HTTPD. Um, I think the reload will work. Um, let's check it out. If it doesn't, then we might need a full restart. All right, now you can see here. Um, so now you can see we have secure HTTPS, right? So whenever um, whenever you go to www.amitnepal.com, it's going to redirect automatically onto um, Amit Nepal, HTTPS amitnepal.com. The only thing now we have to do is to renew the certificate. So if you run this command, certbot auto renew, then it'll renew the certificate. So let's do a dry run. And it's gonna, you know, it's we are just doing the dry run, just checking what would it have done. So waiting for verification. I'll just say that the certificate does not require um, renewal at this time. Uh, da, 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 da. Cert not due for renewal, right? But simulating renewal. So this is what it would have done if it was time for renewal. So now we can just go to cron tab and then put in a. A uh, new job, so we can say USR local SRC uh, cert boat NAS auto renew, right? And then we can say run. We can run it every day. So we can run it every day for in order to run every day. We want to say let's say 30 minutes, um, 30 minutes. So if the first field is minutes. The next is hour. We can just say 23. I randomly picked it. The next is day of the month. Next is the month and then the day of the week. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Um, minute, hour, day, month, and week. So that's the cron format. And then there's the command that we want to run. So what this is essentially going to do is um, it's going to run this command every day at 23 hours and 2330 hours. So you save it and then this will take care of the renewal of your certificate. So that's pretty cool. I mean, everyone can use HTTPS for free. So um, I think you guys like this video. I, I created this video in response to um, some of the comments in my last video. They wanted me to show the automated way of doing this. So um, after a long time, I got this opportunity to create a video. I'll be creating more videos uh, continuously moving forward. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope this is useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.